one thing that sells super good on Mercari. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about items that I sold on Mercari. And I have not done a Mercari video for a little while. And I apologize. I have just been so behind and trying to catch up here. So I've got quite a few coming your way, but I couldn't put them all in one video. So there's going to be two separate videos coming soon. So I'm going to tell you about items that I sold on Mercari. Most of these are going to be hard good items. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for. If you guys are not selling on Mercari, you should be. I love it. So I start my items on eBay and I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. I use lists perfectly. If you want to learn about cross posting, I do have a demo video down in the description. I'm not going to go into that right now, but basically I cross post my items and that gets my uh, gets more eyes on my items on different platforms. Highly recommend it. Check out that video in the description. If you decide you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that will get you 30 percent off your first month. Now, Mercari sales. One thing that sells super good on Mercari is something I love to sell. Any guesses in the comments? I mean, come on, take a shot toys. I do really well with toys. So um, if you sell toys, definitely check out Mercari. I also have a link down below. Below, I can't talk right now. I do have a link down below to join Mercari. If you join with that link, you're going to get $10 to shop. And then if you sell $100 worth of stuff, you're going to get another 20 to shop. And that is a referral code. So I get a little bonus to shop also. So I appreciate it if you guys use that. All right, let's get started with these Bolo items. Now, these range from bread and butter to big money. Um, a lot of times, I, I'm good with selling bread and butter. So bread and butter are items that I sell for $35 or less. I'm going to do my best to tell you guys where I got it and what I paid for it. But on Mercari, I don't have the custom SKU like I do with eBay to remind me. So some of these may be like, I don't remember where I got it. Like this one, I have no clue where I got it. I know that this was listed for a while. Um, and I had it cross posted across all three platforms and it sold faster on Mercari. Now, as far as relisting your items, yes, that definitely helps. It's just like eBay. If you like refresh, if you list into the list perfectly catalog, it is much easier to relist and then it keeps everything connected. I don't use the catalog. So I manually um, delist all of my items. But if you use the catalog, you can go in and delist and it'll pull the items up for you. Again, that's all explained in that video. So let's start with the first item. It's this Matchbox Brady Bunch station wagon. Sold it for $15 free shipping. I do free shipping on Mercari. That is the only platform I do free shipping on. And that's because I feel like the shipping rates are a little bit high and I feel like I can sell it or, um, ship it cheaper. So I would rather just ship it on my own. And what I do is I just increase the price of the item and keep that in mind that when I'm getting an offer that I'm going to be paying the shipping. So this sold for $15 and um, free shipping on that. This was probably, who knows, I think I got it at a garage sale and usually things like this, I pick up pretty cheap for like a buck or less. This took forever to sell. Oh my goodness. Um, I did relist it and I relisted it on 831 of 22 and it took about a month to sell a little less than a month, but oh my goodness, I've had this thing forever. And you can see this is before I was using photo room and it's sitting on, um, it's actually a concrete bench <laughs> that I have. And I ended up selling this for $23 with free shipping. And I was just happy to see it go. This right here is a mixed lot of Halloween props. These came out of a thrift store mystery box and they were just kind of a hodgepodge of things that I have left over. Wait a minute. I think I'm wrong. I think these came from a garage sale. I lied. It wasn't a mystery box. It was a garage sale. I remember now 
because I bought out all of the Halloween stuff. And these were kind of like the miscellaneous items that I really didn't want to list separately. And I thought this was going to be a home run. It was going to sell super fast. And again, it was a very, very long tail item. I probably would have been better off putting like the skeletons together, putting the bats together, the spiders, you know, doing more something like that. I finally sold this for $25 plus shipping. So if an item is heavier or bigger and um, I, I won't do free shipping on Mercari, I will use their shipping because I it's hard for me to guess how much it's going to cost to ship for those bigger items. And if the person lives across the country, it's going to cost me way more. So I will use Mercari shipping in cases like that. So they did pay the shipping and it was $25. So. This is a Monster High doll. Now, um, what I did is I listed a bunch of Monster High dolls in a lot. And everybody kept messaging me saying, can you sell me this doll? Can you sell me that doll? And normally I'm like, no, I'm not going to separate. But I had so many people ask me to separate the Monster High dolls that I just went ahead and did it. And I will tell you, as soon as I separated them and sold them as singles, they started selling much quicker and they sell really good on Mercari. I sold this girl with the crazy hair for $18 free shipping. And I picked her up in a lot of uh, Monster High dolls. This one came out of a thrift store mystery box. And a while back, it's been quite a while ago. I've had this listed for quite a while, but I bought all of these dolls and I'm pretty sure it was a thrift store mystery box. And a lot of them had like marker all over them and they were a complete mess. These were the nicer ones, but would you believe it if I told you that the ones that were like all scribbled on and had marker and were TLC sold faster than the ones that were in good condition? Now, I did have them priced cheaper, but oh my goodness, I can't even believe they sold. But these sold for $42 free shipping. If any of you guys remember the video I put out with all of the dolls that had the marker on them, let me know in the comments. That means you've been here a while. This dress, this is not a hard good, but I have been selling this dress for two or three years now. I probably picked up over a hundred of them between size small and large. And the funny thing is, is I was selling them for like 19 and $20 because I had over a hundred. Um, they were from a discount store and I purchased them. I think they were $9.99 with 90% off. So I got them for a dollar each. Now, when I went to this discount store, I would buy in bulk. So what I would do is I would take everything to the register. I would look at my total number of items and I would divide out my total by the number of items. So I always estimate that I spent about $3 per item, if that makes sense. But in all reality, I have a buck in this. If we're being completely like, what did I pay for this item? So as I have continued to sell these, I have increased the price because I hardly have any left. I just sold one on Poshmark for 50 bucks plus shipping. This one sold for $36 free shipping and they sell for even less on eBay. So this is another reason why you should be cross posting your items because different platforms are willing to pay different prices for different items. Um, the people that sell on Mercari and the people that sell on Poshmark their money goes into a spot and it, it is held until they ask for it to be sent to their bank account. While it's in that pending phase, they can shop with it. And a lot of times people on these platforms are just selling to buy, if you know what I'm saying. So they're not looking at eBay. They're not looking at any other platform other than the platform that they're selling on. So by cross posting, you're getting more eyes on your item. So this dress sold for 36 on Mercari, free shipping, and just sold on Poshmark literally this week for $50 plus shipping. So again, that's why I cross post. And I don't have very many of these left. And another great thing, Mercari and Poshmark, no returns. eBay returns. So the this dress, uh, you can't really tell, but it has cutouts and I do get returns on it. I actually have two coming back right now. They ordered a size small and a size medium in this dress and they're returning both of them. And I'm kind of happy about it because I took less on eBay for the items and I will just list them higher on these other platforms. I may not even put them back on eBay, to be honest. 
These right here, I had listed individually. I picked these up, I believe at a garage sale for like a buck a piece. And somebody asked me if I would bundle for $25. And I added the shipping on to that one um, because I was bundling. So $25 for these two watches. This is a Sarah Coventry chain necklace. If I remember correctly, this came out of a Dibble box that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino. That is a YouTube channel that I shop on and it was a bulk jewelry lot. I sold this for $15 free shipping. It's a Sarah Coventry chain necklace. These are vintage Congress playing cards, sell you tone. And um, I sold these for $25 with free shipping. There is no way I don't think that I would have got $25 on eBay for these, but I got 25 bucks free shipping. I don't even remember where I got these, but can you believe it? $25 free shipping for those cards. Sometimes I amaze myself. Okay, these were all items from uh, a discount store. So again, I go with the whole around $3 per item, but I believe this dress was about a buck and I think I paid two or $3 a piece for the brawl. Brawls. So I'm guessing I was about $5 all in for these. Somebody asked me to bundle for $55. Of course, I did that. Um, free shipping and five bucks into $55. These are seamless leggings. This is another thing that I bought probably 50 pair of. And the store that I'm buying these at is called Discount Fashion Warehouse. They are not everywhere, but there's a lot of them in Ohio. So if you live in Ohio, definitely look it up. They used to have a color code system that they did, which was really great. They don't have that anymore. At least they didn't the last time I went. So um, I don't know if the deals are still as good, but I think I paid a buck for these and I sold these for $17 with free shipping and I have a bunch more listed, but I don't think I relisted this on Mercari. So they're on eBay and Poshmark. This came from a garage sale, if I remember correctly. It was in a shoebox. I think this was the lot, but I went to a garage sale and there was a shoebox full of vintage jewelry. I don't remember what I paid for it, but it wasn't much. So this is a necklace and clip-on earring set, um, unbranded, nothing signed. I sold this for $19 free shipping and it did take a little while to sell. This is a Bat Sentry Wiz Kids Hero Clicks DC Comics toy figure. This came out of a mystery toy box that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. I sold this one figure for $14 free shipping. These right here came from the Goodwill bins. I, uh, I'm thinking this was that. I purchased a crafter's lot. And when I say that, it was in a plastic tote and I didn't look in it. And I bought the whole tote, which was kind of dumb because you pay by weight. But I kind of wanted to unbox it on my YouTube channel. So that's what I did. So I paid a little more for that entertainment. And these sold for $19 free shipping. They are vintage five chenille pipe cleaner Easter eggs. Not Easter eggs, Easter chicks. They're for crafting. This is a coach embossed blue leather luggage tag. This all co also came out of a dibble box that I bought from Donatella Bottolino. It was actually um, an auction style uh, dibble box that she was doing and she was showing the items and there were some items in this box that I wanted for my husband. And I went ahead and bought the box, gave him the items. We actually did the unboxing together and I ended up selling all of the coach items and made most of my money back, you know, on just like five or six items. So if you want to see that entire unboxing, I'll try to remember to link it down below. But this sold for $21 free shipping. This here is a lot of costume jewelry vintage to now. Um, I picked this up, I believe, at a garage sale or an estate sale. And I just kind of pieced it together and included it in the box. Sold this for $85 free shipping. This is a Lego Friends Emma, Emma's Tourist Kiosk Retired Set. New in box and the box is damaged. I do not recall where I got this. I think it was a garage sale. Um, I remember going to a garage sale over the summer and getting a bunch of these. So I probably had $5 or less in this. And I sold this for $28 with free shipping. And it's a retired set. So while it only has 98 pieces, it's still sold for $28. These are more of a long tail item. I don't know if I would recommend picking them up. They take a while to sell, but if you can get them cheap, vintage Hallmark keepsake springtime Barbie 
ornament collector series. I picked these up at a garage sale. I want to say I paid 50 cents each or a dollar each. And I sold these for $23 free shipping. This is a little adorable, which I don't usually use words like adorable, but I didn't have very many keywords for this. It's a beaded cat coin purse. And I sold this for $23 free shipping. And I think I got this at a garage sale. That one I've had a while, so I'm not sure. That was very long tail also. These Paw Patrol plush. Uh, just whenever I find plush, especially small ones, sometimes I will lot them up in small lots like this. I was trying a different background, um, but not really digging it. I'd rather use Photo Room. If you're interested in checking out Photo Room, it's going to make your background white. I think it looks more professional, but different opinions on that. If you are interested in getting Photo Room, I do have a 10% off um, link down below. It's a referral link. You can use that to... Uh, for your annual subscription, you'll get 10% off. So you can check that out down below if that interests you. $17 free shipping for these. Now, this is a Bolo Vintage 1986 Hallmark Rodney Rhonda Randy Ramona Reindeer plush lot of four. And I am sorry, I don't remember where I got these, but I probably had $5 or less in all of them. I can't remember if this was the Goodwill bins or a garage sale, but these are great. I sold these for $90 free shipping. The next item is this Disney Just Play Mickey Mouse plush. And not sure where I got it, but I sold it for $10 free shipping. So just a bread and butter there. Not making much by the time I ship it. Here's another one of those dresses. I sold this one for $38 with free shipping. And this is a huge lot of children's DVDs. I had these all listed separately. And I thought about like selling them individually and then I just said, I'm just going to fill a box and I'm going to list these individually. And somebody reached out to me and they said, I want them all. Will you take $300? And I'm like, yes. And now that I'm on whatnot, I'm kind of thinking, what was I doing? I probably could have sold these for more on whatnot, but that's okay. That's probably what this person did. They were probably buying them to resell. Um, my Goodwill Benz DVDs are 59 cents a pound. Um, it used to be the full price, but they changed it. So 59 cents a pound. I mean, what, five or six of these? Probably, I don't know how many would be to weigh a pound, but not many. So I can get them really, really cheap. So I don't remember how many are here, but it was uh, four eBay boxes or six eBay boxes full for 300 this one right here, I talked about this before, is a vintage Ohio State Buckeyes hat that my husband picked up at a flea market. I don't know what he paid for it, but he sold it for $124 with free shipping. And I have mentioned to him to look for vintage hats, trucker hats specifically. And he found this one and it was a big money bolo. This next item is a Disney store frozen on a plush doll with her winter cap. I got her at a garage sale for $4 and I sold her for $20 free shipping. I will pay up a little more for the Disney store. Some of them can go for bigger money, but um, I knew they typically sell quick. Now this one, oh my goodness. Um, this came out of, I believe, a mystery box from a thrift store. Oh goodness, I think. And I couldn't find another one like it. So of course, I just priced it high because that's what I do. Um, it kind of reminds you of Jim Shore, but it's not. It's Hobby Lobby. It's a retired set from 2012. And I sold this for $134 free shipping. This next item is a Lounge Fly Disney Kingdom Hearts mini backpack. And I sold this for $90 free shipping. And um, I got a little story with this. I sold it on eBay. I want to say in the $40 range and I forgot. I didn't forget. I just didn't do it. I didn't take it off of Mercari and Poshmark right away, which was really dumb. I usually do it like immediately. And for some reason I was distracted and it sold on Mercari. So I had it for, it sold on eBay and it sold on Mercari. I have one of these. I'm thinking, what am I going to do? So the person on eBay had low feedback and they did not pay. I mean, I got so lucky on this one 
And I only sold it for like 40 something on eBay. And here it is on Mercari for 90 free shipping, you know? So of course I want the 90 free shipping. That makes way more sense. I'm going to make way more money. Um, but I had to wait for it to time out, which means my shipping was kind of late on this one. And I was in limbo for three or four days. I think it was four days because that's what it takes to time out. And I was really nervous about it, you guys. It made me really uncomfortable because I didn't want to cancel an order on either end. So I would say that I got very lucky. The person on eBay did not pay. And I sold this on Mercari for $90 free shipping. So moral of this story is if you cross post your items, when an item sells, take it off the other platforms immediately. Not that night, not tomorrow, not in two days, immediately. Okay. That'll keep you from getting into having to cancel an order. So again, I just got very lucky. This next item I got, oh, and this came from a garage sale. I think I paid four bucks for it. This is Masha and the Bear replacement doll figure. Um, I had no idea what this was. This was from my hashtag Ben's Bingo Challenge. And I got this at the Goodwill Ben. So I got like, I don't know, quarter, 50 cents in this. This doll sold for $21 free shipping. So all of these items sold faster on Mercari. This also came from the Goodwill Bins. It is a Build-A-Bear Autism Speaks Awareness Bear. It's got the puzzle. It's a stuffed animal. And I sold this for $22 free shipping and it sold very quickly. This is a La La Lopsy Rosie Bumps and Bruises nurse full size with blue hair toy. Um, I got her at the Goodwill bin. She is a little bit heavier, so I probably had about $3 in her, and she sold for $25 free shipping. This item here is it's so funny because I have had these Santas listed for over a year, and I thought, like, before Christmas, they were going to sell. You know, they're Santas. They're ready to paint Santas. I'm like, everybody's going to want these. No, nobody wanted them until... After Christmas this year, it's like December of this year, I started selling all of these ready to paint items. So I guess this is probably now the time because people are buying them to start painting to get ready for next year. Makes total sense, right? So I sold this for $30 free shipping. This came out of a thrift store mystery box. Here's another one sold for $28 free shipping. Same thing, thrift store mystery box. This is a Key pie or coupie, I forget how to say it, doll. It's Snow White. This took forever to sell. Again, it's so old that I had it on my bench. This was like that other one. Um, so I didn't white out the background. And I ended up selling this for $19 free shipping. And I paid $5 or less for it at a garage sale. This is a Shrek 2 DVD. Um, it is new. It's sealed. And it sold for $16 free shipping. I don't remember where I got it. Calico Critters, um, maybe it was either a garage sale or maybe the bins. I don't know. I pick them up if I can get them cheap. Calico Critters Family's Hedgehog Family. These are the harder to find retired hedgehog Calico Critters. They're flocked little animals. These came from an estate sale. I got a whole baggie full. So I've got like maybe 50 cents in all of these. Sold it for $41 free shipping. This guy is another one that was listed for a super, super, super long time. And again, I should have whited out the background because that looks horrible. But it sold. It is a Disney Pixar Inside Out Tommy the Elephant. And it actually, you push the stomach and he talks. I sold him for $18 free shipping. It had been listed so long that I forgot that it talked. That's how long it's been listed. But it sold. So I'm happy about that. This one sold fast. These are Blaze and the Monster Machine Slam and Go Monster Trucks. And it's Blaze, Crusher, and Stripes. That's the name of the cars. So you push them down and they go forward. And I sold these for $49 free shipping. And if I remember correctly, I got those from the Goodwill Bins. This is a Saturday Night Live book. It's from 2015. It is a hardcover book. I picked this up at a thrift store. And at this thrift store, they put things outside in boxes for people to take that don't sell in the store because it's a very small store and they're not open very often and they need to just get rid of stuff. So what they do is they put it outside for free. And before you go into the thrift store, you can look through these boxes. 
So anytime I get anything out of those boxes, I always give them extra money and actually pay for the item. So I don't know exactly what I paid extra that day, but I ended up selling this for $43 with free shipping. These are the vintage flocked Easter spring floral picks. They're bunny rabbits. I don't remember where I got these either, but I sold these for $36 with free shipping. I know wherever I got them, I didn't pay much for them. Probably a garage sale. This is a plastic nativity. It's vintage. And again, I think this came out of a thrift store mystery box. And I sold this for $20 free shipping. The next item here is another bolo. If you ever find the Scooby-Doo friends and foes action set, these action figures are definitely a bolo. You can sell them individually or you can sell them as a lot. I sold these for $75 free shipping. And I think I got these at a garage sale and I want to say I paid $10 for them. This is a Catherine's kimono swim cover up. I actually ordered this retail arbitrage off of the Catherine's website. So what I do is what I used to do certain um, websites. I would go onto those websites and I would find coupons and I would go to their clearance items and I would bundle things up and use a coupon and get things at a, a discounted price. So I probably had five or six bucks in this. And again, when you do retail arbitrage, your margins usually are not as big as if you go to the Goodwill bins or a thrift store. But I ended up selling this for $18 plus shipping. And I bought a whole bunch of these. So I think I still have some listed, a super cute item. But I bought a bunch and I'm just selling them. It's like a multi-quantity item, which if you do clothing and you can find things that are new in the original packaging and just sell them over and over again, create one listing, that is great. Here's another one where I did not use Photo Room and it would have looked way better if I did. It's a mixed lot of Dora, Boots, Diego figures and I sold these for $15 free shipping. And I pick up mystery toy boxes and... Anytime I go to a garage sale, I will like bundle all of the toys and be like, can you give me one price? So I'm not really sure what I have in these, probably a dollar or less. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Those were my Mercari Bolos. Some of them were big money. Some of them were bread and butter, but these are items that you can flip for a profit. And most of them I found really cheap. So thank you for being here. Let me know if you sell on Mercari, if you've ever considered it, if maybe it's your only platform, if you've considered maybe branching out to Poshmark or eBay. So let me know down there in the comments and thanks for watching.